Hello everyone. Today topic is problem based on the Rayleigh equation for simple distillation column. Let's see an example of how to calculate the composition of composite distillate and residue. In simple or differential distillation using the Rayleigh equation. A liquid mister containing 40 mole percent N heptane and 60 mole percent N octane is subjected to a differential distillation at atmospheric pressure with 60 mole percent of liquid distilled. Find the composition of the composited distillate and the residue using Rayleigh equation. Given data is relative volatility for the given system is 2.16. Now, let's solve this example. So in this example, we have to calculate yd average that is distillate composition and xw that is residue composition. So to find this, we use the Rayleigh equation. So Rayleigh equation is ln of f by w is equal to integration of 1 by y minus x into dx from xw to xf where f is equal to initial moles in a differential distillation column of feed w is equal to moles left in differential distillation column or residue xf is equal to the composition of the liquid in the feed and xw is equal to the composition of the liquid in the residue now we have given the feed contains 40 mole percent of n heptane and 60 mole percent n octane so let's take the basis of 100 kilomole of feed now, let F, D, and W be the feed, distillate, and residue respectively. Hence, let F is equal to 100 kilomole. Now, as we have given 60 mole percent of the liquid distilled, hence we get D is equal to 0.6 into F is equal to 0.6 into hundreds which is equal to 60 kilomole now let's take the material balance on the differential distillation column so we get f is equal to d plus w as we have f and d so the equation becomes the 100 is equal to 60 plus w after solving this we get W is equal to 40 kilomole. Now, let's put the value of F and W in the Rayleigh equation. So, as we know Rayleigh equation is ln of F by W is equal to integration of 1 by Y minus X into DX from XW to XF. So after putting the value of F and W, we get ln of 100 divided by 40 is equal to integration of 1 by y minus x into dx from xw to xf. So, after solving this we get 0.916 is equal to integration of 1 by y minus x into dx from xw to xf. Now, to solve the right-hand side of the equation, first, we have to plot a graph between 1 divided by y minus x versus x. Then, we will measure the area under the curve from x is equal to xf to x is equal to xw. So from this, we get xw, that is composition of residue. So, in this problem, we don't have given equilibrium data directly. But, we have given 
relative volatility is equal to 2.16. So to calculate equilibrium data, we will use relative volatility formula as y is equal to alpha into x divided by 1 plus alpha into 1 minus x. So putting the values of x, the corresponding values of y can be calculated. So to generate equilibrium data, let first assume x is equal to 0.1. So we get y is equal to 2.16 into 0.1 divided by 1 plus 2.16 into 1 minus 0.1. So we get y is equal to 0.194. Similarly, assume x is equal to 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.25 up to 0 0.45 and corresponding values of y calculated. This is shown in the table. Here, we generate data up to 4.5 because we have xf is equal to 0 0.4. Now, from this table, let's calculate 1 divided by y minus x. So we have values of 1 divided by y minus x and x. Now, let's plot the graph between 1 divided by y minus x on y axis and x on x axis. Now, to measure the area under the curve, from x equal to xf, draw straight line, from x is equal to xf. Now, to find area under the curve, we used formula, 0 0.916 is equal to, area into, x axis scale, into y axis scale. As in this graph, we take a scale of 0 0.1 on the x-axis and on the y-axis 1. So equation becomes 0 0.916 is equal to the area into 0 0.1 into 1. So we get the area is equal to 9.16 cm square. So now we have to adjust the 9.16 cm square area under the curve from x equal to 0 0.4. Now, as we know, one block on the graph paper is of 1 cm square. So, we have to count 9.16 boxes. So, in this way, we get xw is equal to 0 0.22. So, in this way from the graph, we get xw is equal to 0 0.22. So, we get residue composition. That is xw is equal to 0 0.22. Now, to calculate distillate composition, we will write overall material balance as xf into f is equal to d into y d average plus w into xw. So, after putting the values of xf, f, d and w, xw we get 0 0.4 into 100 is equal to 60 into y d average plus 40 into 0 0.22. So, after solving this, we get y d average is equal to 0 0.52. So, in this way, we get, the composition of the distillate, is equal to 0 
So, in this way, we get residue composition. That is, xw is equal to 0.22 using Rayleigh equation and composition of distillate. That is, yd average is equal to 0.52 using overall material balance. If you like my video, please like my video. Share this video with your friends and subscribe to my channel.